end of the week where it they feels, have some fun. We feel a little reckless, I'm going to be honest with you. That's a different right? way of we putting it. We feel reckless. Reckless. Oh, reckless. Yeah. All right. Uh, woke up feeling reckless today. Uh, Titans at Packers. Not reckless. We hyped the bejesus out of it as it was a really good Thursday night matchup. Okay? Yeah, we've heard like a Super Bowl. I know. And, and we it did. kind of delivered. Kind of I know. like it. Let's get to the lead block for lead goodness block. sake. Let's go. Titans, Packers. Oh, That's it. That's the game. And watch the floor on the sideline. He's going to say, darn. And uh, they look like that. Looking for Abel. It's like, enough of the Packers. Shut up. Good morning, football. We'll get to that in a little bit. 27 17. Titans just casually walk in the lamp. Freezing cold Lambo winning by double digits. After the game, Ryan Tannehill, damn right, a confident sounding Ryan Tannehill, stepped up to the mic and stayed for Rodgers, too. Yeah, we're a resilient group. We've said it all year. Um, we faced a lot of adversity, and this week was no different. Coming on a short week, banged up, had some guys out, and came out. You know, we set our intentions on Monday. We came into the building. Uh, after a hard-fought game on Sunday, uh, really got ourselves ready to go early in the week, set our mind uh, that we we're going to come up here and, and win this game, and we did exactly that. Yeah, season's not over. Uh, there's still six opportunities left. Uh, you know, we got a tough game. Got to go to Philly. Hopefully we can, these few days, get a little healthy, or uh, refresh the mind, and then uh, obviously we got to Got to win these next games. Yeah, that's saying to get healthier. Uh, the Titans have to get healthier. They were crushed by injuries last night, and the Packers, they were just crushed. Aaron Rodgers uh, didn't look great down the stretch. Takeaways from that win last night. You can take it any direction you want, but the Titans win over the Packers, Peter. The Titans were the better football team mm -hmm. last night. Injuries included. Mm -hmm. They had eight players down from their defense, mm -hmm. and they just stepped up and had guys that... Quite honestly, I'm looking at my, my, my media guide to see who is that exactly, and they're making plays. And in the fourth quarter, if you have this feeling that, like, Rodgers is going to pull it out of his hat, well, he didn't against the 49ers in the playoffs last year, mm -hmm. and he certainly didn't last night. This here, fourth and three, you're like, all right, fourth and three, Rodgers. That's the play. This is the fourth quarter, all right? This one here, second and seven, Jeffrey Simmons. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh. Ah! Crunch. You don't want Jefferson. How about this one? Fourth and one, the decision to go to Aaron Jones. This is all fourth down, and this is all fourth quarter, and it's like, just bleh, bleh. And then meanwhile, the Titans get the ball back. First and ten. <laughs> the dagger, I love it. This is like the ultimate move. This was at the end of the game. They get the ball. Everyone expecting a knee, and Jair Alexander just lets his guard down because no way they're going to throw on us. And Traylon Burks catches the big one. The Titans made such a statement last night, and their statement was, yeah, the Cowboys left the Packers back into the club and in the conversation. We're going to take them and, like, like you know, they used to do to, to Jazzy Jeff on, on, uh, on, on Uncle Phil, <laughs> yep, yep. Fresh Prince. Woo! Right out. That's what it was. Packers. Remember when Charles Barkley threw someone through a window yeah, and he said, my only regret is it wasn't on the second floor? Don't laugh. I mean, this is what it was. <laughs> Anyone who was watching last night was waiting for, like, vintage Rodgers. Even Herb Street was, like, trying to will it to happen. Like, yeah. Herb Street's like, well, you leave Rodgers enough time to they come back. They were just getting back. greedy. Uh, and guys, no, it wasn't happening. <laughs> Titans were so well coached, so disciplined. They were so physical. I mean, gosh, the 18-play drive on fourth and one, they, they go for it, and they get stopped, and they don't, like, fall apart. They come back the next drive. Oh, we'll score next time. No problem. Um, Titans were a far better team than the Packers last night, and I'm not sure we're going to be talking Packers much more this season. That's a big hole to dig out of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And Titans fans, we hear you. All day yesterday, it's like every topic is the Green Bay Packers this, Aaron Rodgers that. The Tennessee Titans showed up and they showed out last night. Like you said, they never trailed in that game. Derrick Henry was the king, throwing the touchdown pass, running for a touchdown. But my goodness, Ryan Tannehill deserves credit. We knew going into the game it was going to be a heavy dose of running the ball for the Tennessee Titans. Tannehill, only five incompletions the entire game. We only had the one interception. It was a blemish, a really good play play by Rasul Douglas getting back there in zone coverage. Tannehill over 300 yards passing and he was so accurate last night. There were passes to Austin Hooper with defenders right underneath and he's threading the needle. And this guy, yes, we criticize him a lot and it's just like, can he be the quarterback to take them there? The play action pass, they were on the money last night and credit to the Tennessee Titans. 
they showed up Thursday night football on the road, Lambeau, and got the job done. And all the talk, I'm saying how good Ryan Tannehill was last night. Derrick Henry mm -hmm. with a beautiful pass. And mm -hmm. after the game, he's talking about an oppressor, and he's just like, that's my second one. And they were like, somebody in the crowd was like, no, no, it was third, three. Third. Right. third touchdown. And he reminded himself, like, yes, I'm a young Peyton Manning. Yes. So he's going to be competing <laughs> with Ryan yes. Tannehill to see who is the quarterback of the future. But, man, these Tennessee Titans, Traylon Burks, over 100 yards, mm -hmm. two big plays. Chig Okonkwo talked about it last, yesterday mm -hmm. when I said, play. hey, take a shot. Right the shot. Big play, nice diving catch. Titans are rolling right now. We don't talk about them enough, but they're just handling business game in and game out. Jay, you're a good guy. You're good at your job. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm impressed with you. you uh, Jamie, I think you're good because yesterday you were a little bit enough with the Packers. Mm -hmm. like, you and me, buddy. I know. Like, uh, dude, Take should, it to the cleaners. <laughs> should we? Should we? Should we apologize to the Titans or Rabel? Like, how should we start this? Um, the Tennessee Titans. God bless them. They won seven of their last eight games. Mm -hmm. um, they were never really in danger of losing in Lambeau. They, they kind of just controlled the whole game, won by double digits casually. There's this thing Rodgers has where it's below freezing at Lambeau Field. He's 15 and three. Mm. And they just went in there. It was below freezing last night. Just wow. smacked them around. Did whatever they want. And we just get back to this every single season. And and by by we, Peter. I I mean, especially you and then sometimes me. We just look at that Titans logo and we're just going, like, eh, the good guys and good teams and everything. Let me say something. The Titans are going to be in the playoffs. Again, they're going to be a tough out. And there's this prejudice against the Titans that I'm not here for anymore and I'm going to really try to reform in myself. If that was a different AFC team beating the Packers, if it was the Chiefs, if it was the Bills, Ravens. it was the Bengals, it was the Ravens, it would all be about, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Let's celebrate them. They're going to go to the Super Bowl this year. Instead, just all the focus is on the Packers and Rodgers this and Rodgers that. And some of it is because Rodgers is intriguing. Mm -hmm. But then some of it is because the Titans, for some reason, aren't. They just have this blandness about their brand. And I still can't figure it out because they have a landmark player in Derrick Henry that we'll be talking about for years that Peter says is already a Hall of Famer. They have an incredible, cool coach who is the coach of the year and who will, like, break your neck if you look at him <laughs> wrong. I just I think he's awesome. the latest in a long line of them. And Tennessee Titans, congrats. We'll see you in the playoffs. Mm. Yeah, how about Mike Vrabel? Let's give him a spot. Amazing. Walks out of Lambeau last night wearing Kyle's T-shirt practically. Like, man doesn't care that nope. it's below freezing. Called a fantastic game. Was prepared more than anybody else for this game. Credited his guys coming in on a Monday on a short week saying they were ahead of me before I was prepared for this game. He just on and on and on, just piling on the love for these guys. He circles back to Traylon Burks going over 100 receiving yards. He doesn't hear a single thing. He takes that headset and he puts it over both ears and it's like, I don't care if people want to call us a snooze fest if we're a team that people don't want to watch. He's a thrill. This is an absolute thrill ride watching the Titans and there is nothing less boring than a handshake with your star player because you guys see this? Mm -hmm. uh, and I was in the highlight. It was fantastic. I mean, there is nothing more cool than this right now between Vrabel <laughs> and Derrick Henry. Seriously, I want to learn it and frankly, I kind of want to do it during the nine E. So if somebody could just pop up uh, at the end of the show sure. and we'll practice a secret handshake because this is like the other coach style. wants in. I know. He's like, we don't interrupt it. this. <laughs> God, Mike Rabel. He's a great Watch coach. the other guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, let me have one. He's like, here, give me your headset. Back to back coach of the year, perhaps, because this team, like Ryan Tannehill, people questioned that yep. when he got hurt. He's like, no, no, that's my guy. This is my team. And he's done with what he can with this, with this group. It's awesome. Fantastic. This, and, you know, we, we run the highlight, and then we go to the Ryan Tannehill sound, and, like, the energy comes yeah. down. Yeah. Ryan Tannehill is never going to be Joe Namath, guys. Yeah. Who cares? We, we've been waiting for that. He's a good player, and he gets him in the playoffs every year. So, Peter, you want to jump in on the yeah, Titans? No, they're one? great. we got to get to rap sheet, but say your piece. Last night was awesome. Yeah. There you like, go. They went into Lambeau, and they beat the snot out of the Packers. Uh -huh. You said at no point, I felt like Rodgers had some, and every time he had an opportunity, really. they were like stopped him and shut him down. Mm -hmm. And then that last play, I think there's a statement there, because they're such a powerful run defense. Oh, they just beat you up with Henry. Everyone is exciting. 11 men in the box. Let's just stop the run and get the ball back here. Down uh -huh. 10. Play action. Uh -huh. Deep shot. Yeah, Burks beats there. Jair Alexander, the Best highest paid corner no. in the entire league. Yeah. And this is my rookie. And it's like, no, no, no. We can do more than just that. Mm. I, there was a statement last night made. I, I felt know. it. It's it fantastic. I it. All right. Um, there were a ton of injuries, though, that we're going to get to mm -hmm. for the yeah. Titans. But uh, Ian Rapport has other...